everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll be recreating Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's makeup look that she did in Vogue like a couple weeks ago. Um, that was super exciting for a lot of us because she's very inspirational. And if you haven't seen that already, I think you should. It's just like a very moving video of her doing her makeup and she just spits a lot of knowledge and inspiration and I've watched it like 10 times now and I tear up almost every time that I watch it because she's just so inspiring to me and I feel seen when I see her and I watch her and I hear her. If you haven't seen it, I recommend that you watch it and yeah, just enjoy and you also just get to hear her like makeup tips and tricks which is really fun and to see a congresswoman in Vogue is like so cool and especially her and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about her so she is also known as AOC as many of you know her by and she is an American politician serving as the US representative for New York's 14th congressional district and she grew up in the Bronx she's the youngest person to serve on Congress which is incredible and she's a woman of color which is amazing. I, I like like I said before, I just feel super seen by her when I see her anywhere or hear her. So, yeah, she's like a huge inspiration to me. Also, if you haven't seen her response to Yoho's um attack, like violent verbal attack to her, that's incredible as well. Like she's just amazing. So, if you haven't seen those, I'd recommend watching them. They're awesome. But today I'm going to do her makeup look and recreate it. So I bought a few new things for the makeup look that I haven't used before. I'll just show them here. They're these. I haven't owned these before and she talked about them, so I bought them. I've never bought so much makeup so quickly and spent so much money. And only AOC could make me do that. <laughs> Which... I don't mind because I've been wanting to try NARS for a really long time and now I get to in this video so yay. She starts with moisturizer, sunscreen, a serum. I've done all of that as well but I'm just going to go right into the makeup. So she first goes in with the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I got the shade medium 1. I think I got medium 1.5 or even shade 2 and it was just too deep for me and she and I are like the same skin color I swear which is I'm like um but <laughs> she puts it on the back of her hand and blends it out with a brush I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place uh, round buffer brush to put this on my skin I also obviously I'm like trying to do the whole look but I also painted my nails because of her, she looked like she was wearing like a pale pinky purple shade. And I just so happened to have that same shade, or a similar shade at least, in my nail collection. So I painted my nails for the first time in five ever. She then takes a beauty sponge which looks like a Real technique sponge and blends it in. So... I'm going to do literally exactly what she does, so I'm going to blend that in with a sponge. This gives a really nice light coverage like every day. She says she uses the Estee Lauder foundation. I don't remember what that's called when she wants more full coverage, but she us usually uses this. So then she goes in with the Becca Under Eye Corrector. I didn't pick that one up just because I didn't think I would get a lot of use out of it. But then after that, she goes in with the NARS Creamy Concealer, which I also purchased for this. And she just puts it under her eyes, on her nose, and then a little bit on her chin and like her cupid's bow area. And I got shade medium 1.5 macadamia in this. And I'm just going to put it on this like scar thing I have over here. And then also on my upper eyelid because I'm having an eczema flare up on my eyes right now. She uh, then says she blends it in with her fingers because she says the warmth of her fingers helps blend it into her skin or something like that. So I'll do that too. 
And then I'm going to take my sponge and just blend that out even more. And then she goes in with the Fenty Matchstick and she does a light contour. I use the shade Truffle. I don't know what shade she used. I tried looking it up but um, couldn't figure it out. But I'm going to do a light contour like she does. She does um, like this brown thing on her forehead and then she places it higher up on her cheekbone. So that's what I'm going to do too. And then she does a light little contour on her nose. I don't ever do this, so this will be weird for me. But I always think this looks so funny. And then she does it lightly on her chin too. And she uses her same foundation brush to blend out her contour, but I have this brush that I really love. It's the Instapop Cheek Brush by Real Techniques that I got um, like the last month or two, and I just really like this for blush and then contour as well, so I'm going to blend that out. She says she then goes in with the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk and puts that on her cheeks as her blush, which this is one of my favorite blush colors and blushes in general, so when I saw that she used one of my favorite products, I was like, wow, she is me, I am her. Just kidding, she's so much cooler and so much more accomplished, but she is goals. She's so cool. I don't know, I just felt like a deeper connection to her because she and I like the same blush. She didn't look like she put a lot on, so I'm struggling to do that because I love to put hella blush on, so I might do a little bit more than she did, but not by too much. She then fills in her brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I've, I don't have, so I'm going to use my Mented Brow You Know Brow Pencil and just fill in my brows. This is like a very similar tiny little brow pencil like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So I thought it was similar enough to use for this bid. So now my brows are done. And then she talks about how she goes in with an Anastasia Brow or Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlight palette. I don't have one of those so I just picked my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. I thought this would be closest to what she used and she says she goes in with a little bit of highlight with a fan brush. I was going to use this one but I have a fan brush so I'll use it. So I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques one and she does her highlight super interesting. Her fan brush is quite bigger than this one, but she takes it and she like sweeps it across her entire cheek like this instead of like focusing it in one area. So I'm going to just do as she does and I'm going to put it down my nose. I didn't see her do that, but I always put highlight on my nose. It's like my favorite place to put highlight. And then she goes in with the eyeshadow. I'm really excited about this. She uses the Tartlet Flirt palette. I actually was wanting this for a really long time when this first came out and I didn't purchase it because I have a lot of eyeshadow already but then she used it and I was like this is just an excuse for me to purchase this. And she goes in with this lighter shade here all over her lid and she uses a fatter flatter brush to do that so I'm gonna do the same. She then goes in with, I think, this shade. It's the shade Hotline, and she puts it, like, in her crease. So I shall do that, too. Ooh, there's a lot of kick up. And she has much more eye space than me, or eyelid space than me, so I'm going to work with what I got. But this is such a pretty brown. It's like a terracotta orangey. I love it. And then it looks like she goes back into this like creamy shade and sweeps it all over her lid again. Maybe to 
blend that orangey shade back out. So I do what she do. I do what I like I do. I also love the part when she's doing her eyeshadow because she goes off about like patriarchy and not being paid the same as men and like um, what your choice is when wearing makeup and how it depends on the person and not what other people think. It's like really your choice and she says my body my choice which is freaking amazing and that part's just like so good. You can just feel like her passion about breaking the patriarchy basically and I love her so much. She then goes in with a brown eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Persona brown eyeliner. Um, she uses an Almay brown eyeliner, but I don't have that. I just use the one that I have in my collection. I never wear eyeliner, so I'm a little scared to do this. Whew, she does a wing. I feel like I need two hands to do this. I might do this off camera. We'll see. <laughs> my eyes are so small, it's hard. I always don't breathe when I do eyeliner and I get like really hunched up and uncomfortable. Okay, I need to do this off, off camera. I just, I need to, so. Okay, I tried my very best to do an eyeliner. It was a struggle. I ended up going with the Persona one and then I switched to the Glossier Brow Flick and then it was just like chunky. So this is what I got. It is what it is so I'm gonna go in with um, my eyelash curler because this is what she does next and she curls her lashes so I'm gonna do the same and then she uses the falsies lash lift the normal like um, regular the falsies is my favorite mascara of all time so I thought about not picking this up but I actually really want to try it because I love the Falsies mascara. That is like my holy grail, if you if you will, mascara. So she uses this. It looks like she uses waterproof as well, so she knows what's up when it comes to mascara. And, ooh, okay, interesting. This brush really reminds me of the Lash Paradise mascara, like the wand at least. I can't get over how bad my eyeliner is right now so patchy okay so then after that she talks about glitter and how glitter is fire when you put it on your eyes I would agree so I think that she goes in with this shade here which is the shade touch and she puts it all over her lid with um, her finger after she does her eyeliner and mascara so I'm gonna do that too and she just look, like places it. Ooh, I might have put too much. Oh, well, maybe not. So pretty. I really like this palette so far. Okay, maybe she goes in with the other shade too. It's hard to tell, so I'm gonna just do a light shimmer of that as well on my lid and then she says she adds a little bit of bronzer she uses the Estee Lauder bronze goddess but I'm gonna go in with my butter bronzer here by Physicians Formula and also just warm up my face and I'm using the Real Techniques angled multitask brush this is like one of my favorite bronzer brushes ever I like the order that she does her makeup because it doesn't like super make sense, but that's also how I do my makeup. It's just very whatever feels like should go next. And she just is such a real person and she makes politics seem more feasible and understandable and relatable if that makes sense because it feels like a very off like far off subject to like think about and talk about and to try and understand but she makes me want to understand it and she makes it seem more real and relatable and something that 
I want to learn about and I love that. She also doesn't powder the entire video, which I don't know if she's like a dry skin person or what, but I'm looking a little greasy, so I'm gonna powder just a tad bit, just like in the center of my face. This look is very something I would wear myself already. Like, it's so pretty. And then, the piece de resistance. She goes in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso, and she says this is the lipstick that she wears whenever you see her wearing her bold red lip, and it stays all day, she says, and like really lasts throughout the day, so that's why she loves this one so much. So she puts this on next. I'm so excited. I'm not a big liquid lipstick wear nor am I a lipstick wear nor am I red lipstick wear so I'm so excited to try this on and wear this um my lips are feeling a tad crusty today I think I'm getting an eczema breakout around my lips but we shall try this out anyway so she starts in the center of her lips and then she moves out And Katie Jane Hughes suggested to wipe off the excess when you use a liquid lipstick so you can get the most precision, so I'm going to do that. And voila! That's what she says in her video. So this is the red lip on. It's very gorgeous. It's very fun. It's very bold. I honestly, I'm so wow that she wears this because this is like very bold and statement making and uh, I love her. So this is the look. This is me recreating AOC's Vogue makeup look and I'll finish it off. All right, I got my blazer on. So, this is the final look. I hope you like it. It was so fun to do and recreate and definitely outside of my comfort zone because I never wear red lips like this and now I might start because AOC does and I have the lipstick that she wears, so. But I'm gonna finish this with what she says to say to yourself every day, which is, I'm the bomb and I will make the world a better place in my own little pocket because that's what I'm here to do. So, this is the look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you feel beautiful, like AOC said. I hope you're having a good day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.